Hello, precious people of God. How are you doing on this Sunday? It is Lakedra. I have come on here with a powerful word of God to show you precious standards. Those of you that are in Christ Jesus and standing for the salvation and the restoration of your home and your marriage and the soul of that spouse of yours who's away from God and believe in God to bring things back in alignment according to his will. How are you on today? I want to bring to you the word of God to lift you up in faith, remind you of the promises of God, to show you who you are in Christ Jesus, that you would never forget it. You know, when you're in a battle, precious people of God, when we're in a battle, we have to keep the whole armor of God on, the helmet of our salvation, allowing the word of God to keep reminding us who we are in Christ Jesus, holding up the shield of faith, you know, because the fiery darts of the arrow wants to come in and wants to throw you off and begin to bring such attacks so you can lose your focus. But the shield of faith, which is the word of God and the sword of the spirit and the whole arm of God will quench out all fiery arrows of the enemy. The whole arm of God, the word of God on your mind, in your heart. Hallelujah. Keeping them before your eyes. You meditating on them day and night will cause you to resist the devil. Defeat him in every area of your life. And bring out that spouse. Because remember, it is by our faith. We have overcame him, the Bible tells us. You who are in Christ Jesus are partners of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. I'm telling you, as long as God be for us, who could be against us? We are in an army, the army of the Lord. We cannot be defeated or destroyed because the one who is life dwells in you. Life defeats death. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Our Savior, our risen King, our Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And our King of Kings. He is our Master. He is our Savior. That spouse of yours is coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children, whoever it may be that you're standing in the gap for, precious people of God, soldiers of God. I'm telling you, you are taking them out of the flames. God is using you, hallelujah, to, to bring forth the victory in the earth, to bring forth the glory of God. And before I get into that, precious people of God, I want to thank every one of you all for joining me and all of my first timers for joining me. God bless you. Thank you guys so much for your prayers. You know, we prayed down heaven on yesterday for the salvation of our loved ones. That's how you do it, precious people of God. Never give up. Resist the devil and he shall flee from us. Hallelujah. We are standing our ground. We mean that we are not giving up. The Lord God is ready to finish what he has started in our life. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith. He'll give you faith. Hallelujah. To move the mountain. As you hear his word, as you hear his voice, as you keep paying attention and listening, not looking to the left nor looking to the right, but keeping your eyes on the Lord. Remember, that's what happened with Peter. He kept his eyes on the Lord and he did the impossible. He walked on that water. And I'm telling you, if just by him keeping his eyes on the Lord caused him to walk on water. Just think what will happen if you keep your eyes on the Lord. You would do the impossible thing. It wouldn't be nothing for God to come through for you. Trusting in him. Hallelujah. And so I want to thank you guys for standing with me in prayer. Hallelujah. We are fighting for our loved ones to come out. In fact, the battle has already been won. For this battle is not ours. It's the Lord. We are just in partnership with him. We are just declaring victory. We are just calling down heaven in the earth, causing those things, hallelujah, in earth to be as it is in heaven. That is exactly what's happening with us who are in Christ Jesus. We are overthrowing the powers of the devil in the earth. We are setting the captives free. And remember, it starts in our own house and then it spreads out throughout the world. 
Yes, hallelujah, for we are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. So thank every one of you all for always joining me in prayer, being faithful and committed in this army. Hallelujah. And also thank you guys for your powerful testimonies. They are so encouraging. Always declare what God is doing in, in your life. This always overcomes the devil. Remember, we overcome him by our testimony. We overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies. Declaring what we know is true. Hallelujah. Sp sparing not, crying out loud. Coming against the devil. Hallelujah. Defeats him every time. And so I want to thank you guys so much for that and also for your support and gifts in the work of God. It is so encouraging and such a blessing as well. It is awesome to see you guys standing. Hallelujah. Being faithful, being steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. It is such a blessing. And so I want to jump right into the word with you guys. This word is going to empower empower you and keep you moving forward. You're going to win that battle. You're going to break that stronghold off of the life of that spouse because that is what it is. It is all about getting that spouse saved. When that spouse come out, all the plunder comes out with him. The devil has to not only release your spouse, but he has to release all the years, all the tears you had to endure, all the heartbreak you had to endure, all the times you missed having anniversaries with your spouse, romance, date nights, you name it. Everything you lost, the devil has to pay back sevenfold in return the thief has to pay it back so you are not only fighting for the salvation of your loved one of, of your loved one you are going to get so much in return i'm telling you the blessings of the lord is going to overtake you not only that you're going to be a blessed testimony for someone else who's going to come along later behind you you see you have gone before that one that's going to come later on who is going to go through the same trials we had to go through and because of what god done for us that would give them hope the testimonies is what caused us to overcome the devil hearing what god done for this one and hearing how god brought that one out all these things is what will bring them to victory as well this is why the word of god is so powerful they are filled with testimonies people like us who were human beings like us wrote who wrote these testimonies witnessed what god done for them hallelujah that's what the bible tells us that the word does it teaches us it also gives us hope and encouragement while we wait for our promises to be fulfilled in our life as well so the word of God is powerful. It keeps us encouraged. Hallelujah. And so this is why you want to keep hearing the word of God to keep yourself strong, walking by faith and not by sight. Because the word of God is the windows of heaven. It allows you to see things from afar off of what's coming your way. Hallelujah. And those, win those windows are opening up for you. God is going to pour out those blessings upon you. You won't have room enough to receive it. Praise the Lord. And so now I want to jump right into it and show you who you are, precious people of God, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul talks about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1. He says, this letter is from Paul, chosen by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus. And from our brother, Sosthenes. I am writing to God's church in Corinth, to you who have been called by God to be his own holy people. He made you holy by means of Christ Jesus, just as he did for all people everywhere who call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Hallelujah. And so Paul is telling us that all those who have been called by God have been called to be God's holy people through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just as he did for all people everywhere who calls upon him. So God called us. Hallelujah. And not only did he call us, precious people of God, those of you that are standing for that loved one, those of you, hallelujah, who are being faithful unto God. Those of you who serve God. 
God has called you to be this person that you are, making you holy. You're doing these things because you are holy. Hallelujah. You that are standing wanting what's right. Hallelujah. For your family. It's because the holiness is the holiness of God is upon you. You see, the world won't stand. The world won't do things according to God's way. Only those who are in Christ Jesus. So by you, hallelujah, standing in the gap for your family, your spouse to be saved, for your marriage to be healed, for them to come out of adultery, hallelujah, for them to come back to the Lord. Remember, it is because the holiness is upon you. And the Bible tells us that in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14, that a holy husband or wife brings holiness to their marriage and even to their children. You see, it's because you have been called by God. He has made you holy. He is causing you to imitate Christ. Hallelujah. But then he goes on and tells us in verse 8, I want to kind of skip through a little bit. He says, and he will keep you strong to the end. So that you will be free from all blame on the day when our Lord Jesus Christ returns. God will do this for he is faithful to do what he says. And he has invited you, precious people of God, into partnership with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So not only are you made holy, but you have been called to be a partner with Christ Jesus. You are joined with him. You are his partner. You are one with him. Hallelujah. And you who are partners with Christ Jesus are the righteous. Think about that. You are the righteous. You are in right standings with Christ Jesus. You are seated in heavenly places, precious people of God. And so now that you are righteous, think about this. The prayers of the righteous, James tells us in James chapter 5 verse 16. The prayers of the righteous avail it much. There is much power in the prayers of the righteous. They receive tremendous results. And so by us praying, precious people of God, just like we prayed on yesterday for the salvation of our loved one, our spouse to come out, those prayers brings forth much power. It would bring forth deliverance. Hallelujah. God hears the prayers of the righteous. So don't let the devil tell you that God is not hearing your prayers. Those who are in partnership with Christ Jesus can pray and ask for anything and it will be given unto them. Anything. Hallelujah. That's according to his will. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit that causes us to even pray for things that we don't even know what to pray for. It is the Holy Spirit that is causing you to pray even for the salvation of that loved one so that all things can work together for the good in the life of those who are called by God according to his purpose. And those that love God, hallelujah, all things will work together for the good in your life. The Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of prayer, causing you to pray and stand in the gap for that loved one hallelujah remember what paul also tells us in first corinthians chapter 7 verse 16 don't you realize wives and husbands who are believers that your spouse may be saved because of you hallelujah because of your prayers your righteousness your holiness and we also just read it how he said Corinthians chapter 1 may God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace you see this grace is what saved us this grace is a free gift this grace gives you the power hallelujah to be saved it is what gave us the power to be risen from the dead and now we are seated in heavenly places and this same grace this same precious gift this undeserved gift, this undeserved favor will also come upon that spouse and your household. Hallelujah. But God not only wants us saved, but he wants our whole household to be saved. Hallelujah. And anyone, any son or daughter that has strayed away from the Lord 
by us standing on their behalf, praying, calling them back to the Lord, we would have been to save them from many sins, James also tells us. We would have saved them from so many sins and death. My God, you are breaking the powers of the devil off of them. Our prayers are so powerful. We are covered with the Holy Spirit. We who are in partnership with Christ Jesus are tearing down the strongholds of the devil. Don't let nothing cause you to ever stop praying. Your prayers have much power in them. Never give up and believe you have received what you asked for. Hallelujah. You know, I want us to look at what, what John also tells us. Praise the Lord. In John, 1 John chapter 5, look at what he says about the children of God. Those who are in partnership with Christ Jesus. Those who are believers of Christ Jesus. Look at what he says, precious people of God. I want to remind you again so you'll know who you are. He says, for every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you precious people of God who are the children of God, you defeated. You defeat this evil world. You will overcome this thing that has rose up in your home, your life, your marriage. Hallelujah. That spouse is because of you. The evil will be defeated and brought down. You are a child of God. You are joint as with Christ Jesus. You are the body of Christ. And now that you are the body of Christ, Him, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our head and we is His body. Satan is under your feet. Satan is under your feet. You have already defeated him just by you believing in Christ Jesus. And for many that have joined me that are listening, if you have not made the Lord Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, I would advise you to continue tuning in to this message and make him your Lord and your Savior. Hear about him on today. And I'm telling you, allow the Lord to speak to your heart, to bring you to him making you a partner of Christ. Hallelujah. Where you will be able to defeat this evil world and overcome Satan. Hallelujah. And be raised from the dead. Be seated in heavenly places. Become a child of the Most High God. This is what will bring victory to your marriage, your home, your life, your children. Hallelujah. It was God that brought you to listen to this message on today. So I thank God for you. Hallelujah. But he says... Hallelujah. That we achieve this victory through our faith. See how powerful your faith is. This is how you will achieve any victory, precious people of God. This is why we have to keep our faith intact. Never let it go. The shield of faith. It quenches out all the fire arrows of the, the devil. But then he goes on and says in verse 5, And who can win this battle against this world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That's all you have to do, precious people of God. Just know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I'm telling you, the devil and his powers are brought down. The devil and his powers won't be able to touch your life. The devil and his powers would have to leave that spouse who you are one flesh with. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when God teamed you up with that man, or that woman who was away from God many years ago, when he teamed you up with them, God knew just what he was doing. He knew that you would be the one to bring them out. You see, God already went ahead of the devil before he had even came. It's because of you that spouse will be saving those children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. With you being in that home, with you being in that marriage, that's what's going to bring holiness to it. Praise the Lord. Because you are holy. Hallelujah. And the word of God tells us, be ye holy for I am holy, says the Lord. And that is exactly why these trials has even come your way, precious people of God. The Bible says it is to even make you more holy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So thank God, hallelujah, for every trial, every tear you had to cry, 
It is only to perfect those things in you, making you strong and more mightier in God, hallelujah, which is going to make you more powerful than the devil. What the devil meant for evil is going to be for your good in the end. Hallelujah. And then the word of God tells us, and Jesus Christ was revealed as God's son by his baptism in water. And he was baptized. And by shedding his blood on the cross. And he shed his blood. Hallelujah. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And the spirit who is truth confirms it with his testimony. This is proving that Jesus is the son of God. This is what John is doing here. Showing us how Jesus is truly the son of God. He says, so we have these three witnesses. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And all three agree. Since we believe human testimony, surely we can believe the greater testimony that comes from God. And God has testified about his son. All who believe in the son of God know in their heart that this testimony is true those who don't believe this are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe what God has testified about his son you see we on the winning side precious people of God when we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior hallelujah he is truly the son of the living God I'm telling you the devil that rose up in your home and in your life and in your marriage is trembling because of you when you show up he's trembling you see he just wants to intimidate he can only intimidate intimidate those that don't know who they are and those that don't believe he can only have you tossed like the wind to and fro down in one minute up one minute down the next but those who are strong in the lord walks in the power of god's might and can stand in the time of evil and how does this strength comes? It comes by hearing the word of God, which is the whole armor of God. It is what makes us strong when we know, hallelujah, the truth. It is the truth that sets us free. It is the truth of God's word that gives you the authority and the power, hallelujah, to stand and resist the devil and never give up. It is what gives you the power to defeat him, hallelujah. My God, I give you the praise. Just ministering the word right now has filled me with such power. And I could just feel the anointing upon my life. You are anointed too, precious people of God. Those of you that are in Christ Jesus, you have the power too. Hallelujah. You can say to the mountain, go throw yourself in the sea and it will obey you. Those that have faith in God. Hallelujah. But Jesus said you must believe that it will happen and have no doubt in your heart and it will. This is what you do to demons. You cast them out. You fight every day. Building yourself up in your most holy faith. Hallelujah. Come on against the devil, the adversary who is going about seeking who he can destroy. You have the victory over him, precious people of God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. We have overcame him by our faith. Just having faith in Christ Jesus, believing in his word, hallelujah, knowing that he cannot lie, knowing that his word will prosper everything it has been set to. You will see, I'm telling you, the manifestation in your life. You will receive the victory and the promise of it all. But then the word of God tells us, hallelujah, in verse 11. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life. Oh, hallelujah. And this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have God's son does not have life. As long as you have God's son, precious people of God, you have life. You have his power. And not only that, look at what he says. I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know you have eternal life. Now watch this. And we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. And since we know that he hears us when we make our requests, we also know that he would give us what we ask for. Well, why wouldn't he? You are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You've been bought with a price, his precious blood. You believe on him. Why would he not answer those prayers? Hallelujah. You that are filled with the Holy Spirit and the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Why wouldn't he hear your prayers? Tell the devil he is a liar and get out. Your prayers have been heard. They are being honored. This, this is why we cannot be murmuring and complaining. 
fighting against God who we are supposed to be in partnership with. We are supposed to trust and believe what he says. Why would, would God forsake us? No, he would never forsake you, precious people of God. God would never leave you nor forsake you. That's okay because you're going through the fire. Our Lord Jesus Christ went through the same fires and the floods, but he overcame them. Hallelujah. And you will too. And those who are in Christ Jesus, Paul also tells us in Romans, we will suffer as Christ as well. We will also share in his glory the same way our Lord Jesus Christ defeated death, hell, and the grave and overcame the devil. You will too because this same power is in you. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit is in you. You are the one who is showing off. Hallelujah. You are the one who's going to show forth the glory of God. Yes, we go through. But you are the body of Christ Jesus. He is your head. He is leading and guiding you. Your footsteps are ordered by the Lord. He's going to be with you through it all. He is up to something. Trust him today. Yes, there may be an enemy running behind you. There may be a spiritual Pharaoh running behind you. But I'm telling you the same trap this Pharaoh, this spiritual Pharaoh has laid out for you. Going to be the one be swallowed up in it himself. Trust the Lord. He has already made a way of escape for you. Not only will your spouse come out, the plunder is coming out with them. God will keep you to the very end. Paul also told us, as we read it in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, God will keep you to the very end. He is faithful. Trust him. R remember, we have not given, we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, peace, and a sound mind. But then he goes on and says in verse 15, and since we know he hears us when we make our request, we also know that he would give us whatever we ask for. I'm telling you because you are in partnership with Christ Jesus. You are God's precious children. He has given you the victory. He don't love Jesus Christ no different, no more than he loves you. And the thing about it is we are the one that sinned. Our Lord Jesus Christ knew no sin. He paid a, un, he paid a death on our behalf that he didn't deserve to have to go through for us. But this goes to show you how much the father loves his children. He means you are his children. He meant it and proved it. And only a true father. And only a true father come hell and high water will save his children. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. We give you the praise, Father God. Many of you all ought to, ought to just praise the Lord right now. Father, we thank you for being our true father. He says, even when your father and your mother forsake you, not will I. I will keep you, oh my God, hallelujah, with an everlasting love. We praise his holy name, hallelujah. Receive it on today, precious people of God. I'm telling you, the devil has already been defeated. You have been given an inheritance. You serve this true God who is your father, who created all things, hallelujah. The devil is under your feet. He is, he is under your feet. You tell him where to go. This is why the Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples that. He says, you who have faith in God, you who are the children of God, you can say to this mountain as well. You can tell whatever you want to go and it will go. Because we are God's children. And all Jesus says that has been given unto him has been freely given unto us. See, it is important that you know who you are. And don't you think that when you go to God praying for the salvation of the very ones he shed his blood for, don't you know that he will hear that prayer? Every day you ought to thank God for saving that loved one. Every day you ought to say, Lord, I believe it. I receive it. You cannot lie. You is love. You sent your only begotten son. So that no man will perish but have everlasting life. Father, I thank you for saving these people. I thank you for saving my loved one. See, you ought to thank God. That's why I love the word. The word just lays it all out for us. The word just shows you everything. It shuts the devil up. Hallelujah. It, it tells the devil to shut up. It exposes his lies. See, many people. They are confused because they don't know the word. You will be confused when you don't know the word. 
You will be wondering what's going to happen to you and will God work it out when you don't know the word, you don't have the answers. Getting in the word, I'm telling you, having wisdom, the Bible says it's the most principle, it is the principal key. It is what will bring victory every time. The truth is what sets you free every time. Knowing who you are in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, gives you power over the devil. See, he wants to deceive. He comes to deceive. He is so, his greatest fear is for you not to know the truth. Oh, he knows once you get a hold of the truth, this ruler who was ruling over you, you now going to become his ruler. This thing that was chasing you, now you're going to be chasing it. Oh, he's, why wouldn't he be afraid when you have God living in you? But the Bible says that when we don't know who we are, we are no different than a slave. We are no different than a slave, Paul tells us in Galatians chapter 4. You are no different than a slave. We are not called to be slaves. We are called to be rulers, kings, and priests, and queens. Hallelujah. Living in the kingdom of God. Living like kings and priests. Living like those that are in authority. Hallelujah. Every day you declare your spouse is free. Your children is free. Your life is free. No yokes is around your neck. Hallelujah. The, the anointing has broke the yokes. Hallelujah. Now you stand in the gap for that loved one of yours. And that yoke shall be removed through your power in Christ Jesus. Through you in the power of God. Walking in the power of his might. Hallelujah. I'm declaring right now marriages are free. Salvation has come and rescued that spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Stand your ground, declare it and decree it every day. This is what pleases the Lord. When we speak those things that be not as though they are, speaking it as though it is already so. You don't have to wait till it manifests. Thank him for it already. Jesus says, believe that you have received it already and it will be yours. This is what believers do. They believe first. And then they receive. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm telling you, as it is written, a man leaves his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife and the two shall be united into one flesh. It is the truth. It is coming. It is God's promise through the power of the Holy Ghost. That dead thing is moving out. That marriage is being renewed and being restored as that spouse, hallelujah, is restored. Things is going to line up according to God's will because, you, because of the power that's at work in us. God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all you and I could ever ask or think or hope for according to the power that's at work in us. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, marriages are healed and restored in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Get ready, precious people of God. Get ready for the promises. You are partners in Christ Jesus. Remember, our marriages are called to illustrate Christ and the church being one. Receive it. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for our holy marriages. We thank you for the salvation of our loved ones. We thank you, Lord God, that husbands are the head of their wives. Oh, our husbands are the head of us as Christ is the head of the church and is loving us as Christ loved the church's own body. Thank you, Lord God, that wives, oh God, are submissive unto their husbands. We are submissive unto our husbands who is our spiritual head. Thank you, Lord God, and wives who are away from you, Lord God, thank you that they are coming back to the Lord, being submissive unto their godly husbands who shall love them as you love the church. Thank you that our marriages illustrate yours. Thank you, Lord God, that our marriages are holy. Thank you, Lord God, we are holy for you are holy. We give you the praise, we receive it. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that paid the price for it all to be done. And now, Lord God, thank you that the bondages have been broken. You have set us free. You have set our minds free. You have set our spouses free. We call them unto you. Thank you, Lord God, you have heard us. Thank you, Father God, you hears and, hears and answers our prayers, for they pleases you. They are what, Lord God, you have promised and spoken in your word. Thank you for giving us all these things we ask for. We receive it now. Thank you for every spouse we had a chance to pray for on today. Thank you, Father God, that you were rescuing them. Thank you that you were waiting. You are always waiting to hear our requests. Hallelujah. And we know that you hear us. And if we know that you heard us, we know that we have all that we have asked for. 
thank you. We give you the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Be blessed on today or this evening or on tonight, precious people of God. Remember that God loves you. Hallelujah. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye. Get ready. Bye-bye. <laughs>